great example of what I'm talking about with a player with great leg strength, Jack. She must have, when she was younger, just lived in a squat rack. Because she has that explosive leg strength that I'm talking about that comes from hard work in the weight room. But that's what I'm talking about, great leg strength. She really can explode to a ball. And secondly, it's really important that you get really confident. And the Minnesota drill helps this as well, digging point blank balls with the elbow break to keep the ball on our side of the net. If you maintain your platform on a hard driven ball, it's going to go over, over the net. We'd rather have the ball dug too far off the net than on top of the net or over the net. So you've got to be able to dig a point blank ball with an elbow break. It's cushioning with the elbows to keep it on our side. And we're wor working really hard on that in the Minnesota drill. You're, we're working with our partner, but you've got to get confident with an elbow break and controlling the ball from the elbows and not overpassing that ball on point blank shots. Okay. Here we go, Blake. Hey, go, 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 go. Go, go. Hey. Lauren, keep that off the net so your setter can come in and set the ball. You got to dig the ball almost straight up. In, in our drop-off defense, we always want our blockers to drop off inside the 10-foot line. But I'm the right front player digging the ball. I'm Lauren Grant, Slim Hopkins, Lauren Gross, Sabrina, and I'm making this play. Setters, where, do you, do you, where exactly do you want the duck ball dug? I saw a lot of players making this dig in this drill about right right in the middle of the court. I mean, a lot of balls are coming right in there. Or do you want the ball dug in that area? Or do you want the players digging there? Where do you, where do you want the dug where, you want it, where we're going to transition straight up? So we want the ball dug more, you know, more up in the air so we can clear out and transition. But this is a really hard ball to transition off of if I'm a digger. And I certainly don't want the ball dug right in the, on top of the net in the middle of the court. So I think these players have to have a picture where you're trying to dig this ball to so the setters have transition access to the ball where we can run offense. But if I'm right here, I want to dig the ball, then I can clear out and run my slide or run transition if I dig the ball off the net in, this, in the middle of the court like the setters just mentioned. But we don't want the ball dug up here. We don't want it really dug over there. We don't want it dug tight to the net over here. So in this area of the court, we can transition off of. But this is a ball that's going to keep it in play. And this, is a, this is your conservative shot right here to keep the ball in play, but it's probably going to be dug. This is where you're going to score. Jack, this is where you're going to score right here from the left side. From the right side, you're going to score here. This is a good shot to keep in play. gives you a lot of court to hit into. But there's your money shot right there. Good job, good job.
Okay, I want to make a couple points between rounds here. Number one, if all possible, we want to set every ball from behind the 10-foot line. Obviously, we have to forearm pass the ball in front if you're the libero. But we want to try to get our hands on any ball that's, that's dug behind the 10-foot line. Secondly, the key to hitting out a system is to wait till the ball is set before you begin your approach so you have acceleration into the ball. You don't want to deaccelerate out of system, it just kills you. You have to be patient, wait, see the set, and then acceleration to the ball in the approach. Secondly, final point, why is this shot, this conservative shot here, better than hitting the middle back of the court? Why is the left side attacker attacking there a better shot than hitting middle back? They have to move to make a play. That's a good point. Secondly, there's almost always going to be a player here. And thirdly, you've got another three feet of court hitting the corner than if you hit middle back. You just lost three feet of court hitting here than if you're hitting the ball into the deep corner. More court to hit into. Along with the fact there's always going to be a middle back player just waiting on your attack. And that's a great point. These players have to move to the corner. They have to adjust and you've got three more feet of court to hit into. So that's why that's better. But you score down the line. Here we go. And so Jack. Good patience, good patience, acceleration. 